It's just Thursday and we have a lot of interesting AI news to talk about. I've handpicked six news for us to quickly discuss and understand what are the new things. The first one is Ideogram 2.0. Ideogram was already the best text rendering AI image generation model. What do I mean? So if you have got an AI image generation model and you need a text inside that, this was always a channel challenge. But Ideogram was always the best uh, until Flux came in. But now what Ideogram has also done is they have released a newer version of the model, which has got the most advanced text to image model. And they're making this available for free for all their users at this point. So you can go see their demo. It's pretty interesting about what kind of things that they're doing. We don't have a lot of information about their technologies, but this is probably the closest uh, reality or uh, realism looking model to the base model that is available. The second one is Anthropic has launched a bunch of interesting courses. So they've launched four courses so far. So they have an Anthropic API fundamental course. They have a prompt engineering interactive tutorial course real world prompting course, tool use course. Out of these, the second and third are completely new, just got launched a couple of hours or days back. The prompt engineering interactive tutorial will help you understand how to design the basic prompt. It has all the things so you can go here and then start learning it. So all you have to do is you have to click this and then you will be able to start learning the prompt engineering course that Anthropic has put together. And also if you want to use the prompting much beyond than what the basic one is, for example, you're a developer and you want to use it, then you can go ahead with their real world prompt prompting course. And you have got a bunch of information, like for example, medical prompt walkthrough. So you can go here and then see how they've designed the prompt and what kind of things are there. And you can see all the details there. It's a, it's a very interesting to see how, um, you know, let's say companies like these actually build the prompts. Definitely check out. The third one is a new text to video application. So if you've got a bunch of applications like this in the same category, we've got like Gen um, uh, Runway, uh, Runway's uh, Gen model, and uh, we've got a bunch of other models in the same thing. OpenAI Sora has never seen the day of light or light of day. But if you see this is, this is quite realistic. Now the surprising thing here is that this is just a team of four or five people and look at the realism, look at the images that they've designed. I think right now it's just like you have got only two um, options, uh, two credits left every single day, but you don't have to wait. Uh, it's free. You can just go ahead and then say, let's say a woman uh, with a computer um, in um, at Starbucks. Let's see. I've just tried to generate this. It might take a little bit of time, but the idea here is that you can generate in videos within just a click. And a team of five creating something like this completely astonishing. Imagine like open AI with all the fun and everything they've done. We'll come back to this again. But then once again, we have another text to video model, which is a dream machine 1.5. This is the newer version of dream machine that already they have got Luma AI labs is where uh, the dream machine, you can just give an image and it can create a video out of it. This is astonishing. People have gone bonkers completely crazy with this. So all you have to do is go give an input image or a text prompt, and then it will start animating it. It will start creating video out of it. And uh, they've got the newer version of it. And all they also have some free credits for you to try out every single day. Definitely try it out. If you have not tried out Luma, you should definitely try it. This is quite insane and amazing. The other two news are something that we have already seen. One is uh, the GPT-40 fine tuning is available. So if you were to improve the steerability of the model, if you were to give domain specific instructions to the model, then you should definitely explore the fine tuning. The The punch punchline here is that GPT-40 fine tuning is going to be free up till 1 million tokens uh, every single day up till 20, uh, September 23rd. And GPT-40 mini, they're going to give 2 million tokens every day for free. The catch here is though, you can fine tune the model, but you cannot download the model. Of course it is open AI. So you would have to end up hosting the model on open AI. And if you were to end up hosting the model on open AI, then the model is going to cost the GPT-40 model is going to cost 3.75 million um, per million, sorry, $3.75 per million uh, tokens input. And for output, it is 15 per million. And in terms of GPT-40 mini, which probably would be the a model for a lot of use cases. Uh, this is much cheaper. So you should definitely try out uh, this option. Uh, if you were to try out fine tuning, I might probably release a tutorial on this. And then the final one is something that uh, we just recently saw. This is V0. 
it's like the version one MVP building application of Vercel. And this is excellent. You can build a lot of things, ton of things. And I've already got a dedicated video for this. I'll link it in the YouTube description, but I'm going to double down on this particular thing and then go ahead and then create like a full fledged either a product or a tool or a SaaS using this. So stay tuned. And if we were to see, this is a woman with a computer at a Starbucks. There's a sticker, um, maybe, but there is a Starbucks logo. There's a coffee and uh, she's saying something like, I don't know, she, she's maybe watching my video and then thinking about it. So all we had to do was uh, give a very simple prompt, not even detailed prompt. And this is quite excellent. The fact that uh, it managed to generate this. I hope the brief news was helpful to you. If you have any other question, let me know in the comment section. See you in another video. Happy prompting.